What's going on, guys? Hope all is well. Today is February 26th, 2024. Leap year. Three more days of the month. I'm at Mount Kisco, New York. I have to replace a wireless thermostat, Vision Pro 8000, with a wireless sensor in the front of this gym. Thermostats in the back so customers and whoever cannot just play with it. And the sensor is what senses the temperature, sends it back to the thermostat. Controls the heat for these old units right here. Check it out. So I'm here to install and program Vision Pro 8000 TH8320R with wireless indoor sensor. This thermostat has failed and we're gonna put a new one in right in this place. There's a new one right here. Remove, we're gonna throw it right up there. This number 2347 is important. If you don't see that on yours, if you're programming like an existing one, there's also this number right here, 2347. But this 2347 plate right here will be on the wall like that. Old one's 1622, and in the old one you can see also 1622. But those aren't the ones we're using right now. We're using this. All right, now we're wired up. We'll throw some batteries in here and then throw it on the wall and then we'll go through the wireless setup so this is their studio exercise room so we're gonna hit next here just gonna name some things it's not zoned it's single zoned i'll go through all this your everyone's system is going to be different but we're just going to do the wireless setup on this video Now to set up this Honeywell wireless sensor, remember our number for this one was 2347. So let me go into menu, installer options, select two, three, oops, four, seven, done. Now we'll come into this. Go down to wireless manager and then add device. Right now you'll see there are no connected devices. So we're gonna go to add device. Back of this, you have this plate. You probably know because you have to put batteries in it, but this plate comes off. Let's take this off. Press connect on new accessory. So on every new accessory, you have a connect button right here. So we're gonna hit connect. And then it's adding indoor sensor. And then it's going to ask me to name it and all that stuff. So we're going to want to rename it to, I believe, like I said, this is exercise room or studio. So let me find that. Scroll through. There are so many different options. Let's see what's good for here. This one's called lobby. So this one we're going to call studio or something like that, lobby. But whatever you guys name it, you name it your own. Let me just find studio right here. Done. Renaming device, please wait. And then this will actually sense the temperature rather than the thermostat that's back here. So you can put this anywhere in the house or the commercial place you want. And then this will be the actual thermostat. And now it's been added. And I don't want any other new accessories, so I'm done here. Connect any more red link devices, no. So now connected devices are my studio indoor sensor back and we're gonna go home you're gonna have to go back into your installer setup to make sure that it's set up for not the thermostat to be controlling but for this to be so we're gonna go 
back into installer setup and then i'm just going to scroll through all next 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 these are all things that you have to set up when you're setting up if your thermostat was already set up you're still going to have to come into here to installer options to find so now it says use thermostat sensor for temperature control and it's set to no so i'm going to set it to yes and then use studio in the temp average and this is what we named studio next filter time and then that's all done next yes yes just hit the connect button again and now you're controlling this is reading excuse my finger this is reading that's just a water heater this is reading the temperature and i'm going to put this out in the studio and then we'll check to make sure that it's doing its thing so you can see right now this room indoor is 62 and um this sensor is in another room, which I can't show you because it's in a lobby. And then this is the gym that we just hooked up. It's 64 in there. So we're going to bring this down to where they want it at 62. But the temperature is controlling the... You could see how they're different. You could um, The temperature out there is being controlled by the wireless device. And again, on these, you're going to need 24 volts. So you have to have a common hooked up. Um, take this off. You need a common terminal in order for red link to work it won't just work with the batteries so it's kind of like wi-fi but this is wireless it's not wi-fi and with these i believe well if you have the red link device you can also do wi-fi with these but this this system this um thermostat right here is not wi-fi it's only wireless but that's it thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe have a great day